Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. Uh, in this session, I am going to uh, show you a demo of how do we call a Python module from Data Factory using a custom activity. And that Python module is going to import a uh, couple of other Python modules, okay, user defined uh, modules only. So, I will show you how uh, the directory is looking like. I have a data lake storage, inside that I have a demo container, inside that I have test module.python which is importing add.python okay this is uh, a python code which is just going to do some mathematical operations and going to return result and this python module is going to import this okay so if you look at the code it will be quite simple it is importing add module and then it is printing okay so this is what is happening in the test module and uh, in the add module what i'm doing is i'm just purposefully doing a subtraction okay uh, in order for it not to confuse it with the default uh, function if any okay like uh, add addition and all okay so i'm just saying a minus b and assigning it to the result and returning the result back to the caller function okay so uh, for that i'm using a custom activity and inside the custom activity we are uh, using a link service for azure batch account which is mandatory for us to run this and then in the settings i'm just calling python followed by the python file name test module dot python this test module is only importing other test mo other uh, module um, which is there in the same directory as the test module dot python okay i'm just keeping the referenced modules in the same directory if you want to import couple of more python files you keep it in the same directory and refer just how like how, just like how i referred okay so i'm just uh, uh, running this Initially, the fir very first time when you are going to do this, it might take 8 minutes to uh, make the node functioning or running, okay. If you look at my batch account, right, we will be uh, creating a pool that is going to be the first step and uh, uh, the inside the pool, you can see how the node is getting transition, okay, initially from idle to running state. Right now, the node is dedicated node is running. It would have been in idle state in the beginning. And then after uh, fr from idle it will go to running and then um, if you have any if you have mentioned any uh, start task in the sense uh, if you want to um, uh, execute or install any other uh, special python libraries you can mention it in the start task of the batch pool okay batch pool so uh, it will be showing in which state currently the node is in right now if you see it has gone back to idle state okay previously it was in green color which is nothing but it is in running state so from idle it moved to running and from running it moved back to idle so that has uh, only happened and if you look at the jobs every time we run a custom activity from azure data factory you will be seeing a job automatically getting created okay if you look at this uh, the most recent run is eight seconds uh, um, ago uh, one second uh, it is 59 seconds ago okay it ran for one second and uh, uh, four minutes ago i ran the same code and eight minutes ago the same code and three days ago the same code okay so if you want to look at the result right just click on this you will have you will see two files error file and then standard out.txt if you check this the result is 90 this is what uh, is given by the python file that we are calling okay we are passing 100 comma 10 and we are subtracting 10 from 100 so it is giving 90 so uh, this is a simple uh, demo only but just wanted to uh, show you how do we do it one thing that we need to keep in mind is we have to keep all the reference to files or modules in the same directory as uh, the f the one which we are calling from data factory and then with respect to the settings what we have to do we have to just mention the uh, link service link service of uh, uh, where we have already kept so we would have kept the python files in this data lake storage for this data lake storage i would have created a link service so that is what i have to mention here and followed by that folder path our folder path is quite simple and not keeping inside any folder just inside the demo container if you are keeping it inside the folder make sure you are just pointing to that folder name here okay so that's it with the settings and uh, let me know if you have any issues uh, doing the same thing for your project and uh, that's it for uh, this session thanks a lot for watching